I don't see how sincerity could be involved in such a, uh, a silly so-called religion. He has completely sold himself to the devil. He has no part of God. He, everything he do over there is no part of God. Nothing God had anything to do with. It's something he created in his own mind. I think they're nuts. No, they're... They come in, they come in, you know. They're nice doctors and lawyers and very prominent people. And then they come in and they turn into completely different people. in the bang of dogs and spilt blood, the wanderest in the midst of shades among the tombs, who longest for blood and bringest terror to mortals, Gorgo, Mormo, thousand-faced moon, look favorably on our sacrifices, Shanham Farash, Shanham Farash, Hail Satan, Hail Satan, open wide the gates of hell, and come forth by these names. Adremelech. Adremelech. Astaroth. Astaroth. Moloch. Moloch. Well, it had occurred to me for many, many years that there was a uh, large grave area between psychiatry and religion that uh, was untapped. And no religion had ever been based on man's carnal needs or his fleshly pursuits. All religions are based on abstinence rather than indulgence. And all religions, therefore, have to be based, based on fear. Well, we don't feel that fear is necessary to base a religion on. <clears throat> the fact that religions for thousands of years have been uh, 
telling people what they should do and what they shouldn't do according to the basic whims of a person who might be running the show is very understandable. We're realists, we Satanists, but we also feel that a person has to be good to themselves before they can be good to other people. So we feel the greatest sin of all is self-deceit. This is a very selfish religion. We believe in greed, we believe in selfishness, we believe in all of the lustful thoughts that motivate man because this is man's natural uh, feeling. This is based on what man naturally would do. He's been in the neighborhood about 14 years, and I always knew him as Tony, and just a nice, or a little more dramatic than most men in the neighborhood, perhaps, but uh, I certainly don't, I think he's very learned on the subject. He's done a lot of reading on uh, magic and all that stuff. Actually, I don't know what kind of man he is, because uh, his appearance is very nice. He makes very good impressions. He has very soft voice, and he talks so smooth, so, you know, so pleasant. And as soon as you meet him, you think he is a very, very nice man, you know. But uh, because uh, something going wrong, definitely, over there, I just had a feeling I can't trust him. A very undesirable type of a neighbor. The uh, property is not kept up, especially in the back, the overgrown backyard, weeds, the vent uh, drain pipes from the roofs are all shot, and the minute the winter hits in the wind, the slightest heavy wind blows most of his roof on my backyard. <laughs> I'm out there picking up shingles and pieces of tar paper. Before he used to have all his hair, just like uh, uh, curly head of hair. Um, now he, sha you know, he um, shaves his head and um, wears the um, the collar. And uh, he, he's, he and being a Satanist minister, this too uh, is something that uh, sort of sets him apart. Uh, and I think. Um, rather original uh, for him to have uh, conceived this idea. Oh, according to this publicity man that I met, uh, this publicity man and Mr. LeVay came upon the idea uh, that um, with his owning a lion, the Satanist church uh, would be a, a wonderful offshoot, and since he did evidently believe in the devil, um, they hit upon the idea of the Satanist church. It, it, it's an attempt. It's an attempt at imitating orthodox religion and as an attempt to establish one by a form of ritual. Uh, he attempts to establish an actual religion. He has officiated, to the, at least in the newspapers and the pictures of it, officiated as one death. And he has officiated at marriages and christenings. We feel guilt is a necessary thing, not necessary that it's uh, practiced at all times, but we're stuck with it. We have it in our collective unconscious. We have a certain amount of, uh, uh, of feeling of apprehension for things we've done because we're taught from childhood not to do certain things. Any attempt to sort of scrape the psyche clean is only going to make us much more and certainly much more... Uh, uh, all fraught with, with frustrations and tensions. So what we've done is just reverse the procedure instead of trying to free ourselves. We've taken all these hang-ups, we've turned them into useful situations. If you're going to be a sinner, be the best sinner on the block. If you're going to do something that's uh, naughty, do it. And realize that you're doing something naughty and enjoy it. Being such strong believers as we are in the Mormon religion, of course there was, there was great conflict. Seems as that a belief in in a flesh. I mean, in in doing per se what you want to do while you're here upon this earth, not worrying about a life to come and and the fact that that God has has commanded us to do certain things. 